Class example 3.56. On January 1st, 1988, the population of Ufa, Russia was 941,500. By January 1st, 2020, the population had grown to 1,136,000. Assuming the rate of growth for the population remains constant, determine how long it would take the population of Ufa to double, correct the nearest year. So think about this question, whether or not we are given P, which is the time it takes to double, or do we want P? So if we think about this, we're given the end amount and the initial amount. Our multiplier or our B value is going to be two because we want to know the amount of time for it to double. And our time, our actual T value would be 22 years. That's the amount of time between 1998 and 2020. We want to solve for P. We, we, we need to find that because P would, would be the amount of time required for our population to double in this case. So now let's divide both sides by 941,500. and then convert to logarithmic form. Now at this point, we will multiply both sides by P to get it out of the denominator and then divide everything by that log term. And then we can just put this in our calculator. If you don't have the, the um, log base on your calculator, then you're going to have to use the change of base identity. And it would look like this in the end. We rounded the room on the calculator. Um, but just remember, it's going to be 22 and then in brackets. We want to put everything in the denominator in brackets. And then, you, and then it should be fine. So we get approximately 81 years. Now we can verify graphically. So what we can do here is graph the left side and the right side of the equation, but you may notice in my picture that the numbers are slightly different than our original numbers. And that's because we could simplify that up a little bit. We don't need to use such large numbers. So a way of just making those numbers a little more manageable for our window settings would be to just divide both sides by a thousand. Just get rid of some of those zeros. So we could have rewrote that as 1,136 is equal to 941.5 times two to the power of 22 over P. That, just, like I said, that just makes it a little bit nicer to deal with. So now you would graph the left side of the equation as Y1 and the right side of the equation as y2, and then find the intersection. Next, let's determine the average annual growth rate of UFA, correct to the nearest hundredth of a percent. So the way we'll solve this one will be to start over, and then this time solve for b. So we still have our end amount and our initial amount. But now we're going to solve for B, which you can think of as one plus the growth rate, which is perfect because we're looking for the, the growth rate. And again, 22 years has gone by. You can also think about in this case that our P value would be one because we're going to, it's, it's our annual growth rate. So every year, and then we're solving for the B value for, for that. So we'll divide both sides to simplify the equation. And then we can take the 22nd root of uh, both sides to solve for B or rewrite that as an exponential. Uh, for uh, or a fractional exponent. And we get 1.085 set. Now 
Now remember, our B value is really one plus the growth rate. So this section is our growth rate, but it's not written as a percentage yet. So we still need to multiply by 100. So the average growth rate would be 